I have done a Cribs house door type video pretty much every place I've lived, I think. But we've been here in this house now for almost three years and I still haven't gotten around to it. And I think part of that is probably because like, it's that thing of, you know, you have stuff that you need to fix or finish and sometimes you don't, you don't feel that it's uh, quite clean enough to show off every nook and cranny. But I finally decided, what the hell, let's just do it. And then if something amazing happens, I'll just do an update. So join me, let's go. This is our entryway. It's kind of small, but it works. We got this uh, hat rack from the 40s at uh, flea market. And then we have our barometers because the weather is very, very important. This collection sort of grows a little bit at a time. Um, we just like them because, you know, they're fun. They come in all different designs. Uh, they say something about the time when they were made. You can usually get them pretty cheaply at flea markets and stuff. Uh, but also, you almost never see more than one barometer at a time. So it's just this funny, weird thing, like us. And from the entryway, you come into this hallway and to the kitchen. The kitchen is one of my favorite parts about this house. When we moved in, it was sort of an 80s pink. Um, so we had the cupboards, the cupboard doors refinished. Uh, and we've since also had the countertops raised so that they're more ergonomic and so that we could fit a dishwasher. We put in this amazing checkerboard floor. And here, there was just this sort of raw opening. Uh, that shelf was there, but this is actually where there was originally an old tiny refrigerator. Uh, so we put in tiles and this pulls out so that you can reach all the stuff in there, including the blender. So it's sort of a little coffee station. And around the other side, is sort of the tea station, I guess. Uh, it's possible that I have ridiculous amounts of tea, but I'm good with that because I also drink a lot of tea. This table is great because it folds in if you need more space, but it also folds out on the other side if you need more space, uh, which we pretty much never do because it's usually just the two of us. Next to the kitchen is the upstairs bathroom which is small but practical. We put in this uh, vinyl checkerboard floor there as well. These shelves are those uh, picture shelves from Ikea. They're really good for organizing. And here is a sort of memory game of fashions of different eras, which I just put in frames and put up on the wall. This painting uh, was made by Pontus' grandmother. Uh, she's painted a bunch of stuff in our house. She's sadly passed away now, but she was an amazing artist. Then you come into the living room. So we have these paintings on the wall, china cabinet, and this uh, was the TV in Ponce's grandparents' house, and his grandmother rebuilt it into a liquor cabinet, which is mirrored so it looks like you have even more alcohol that you never drink than you do. On top of that, we have random accoutrement, including the champagne corks that we collect uh, and try to save every time we drink champagne. And uh, it's getting full because apparently we have a lot to celebrate, so uh, I'm not sure what to do with all of them now. And then we have the couch that we got off a Swedish Craigslist table, same. Um, paintings. This is a rolling tea table that my grandparents bought when they lived in Singapore. And it's raining on our porch, um, so I'm not going to go out there because you won't be able to hear me. But I do love our porch with tomatoes and our little hammock chair and everything. And around here we have our TV and our fireplace. So the TV is on this table that Pontus' grandmother also made, which I really like. So she did the mosaic and assembled the whole thing. Our fireplace works and I love it. I love that it has this sort of little gnome hat on top, which you don't see that much. And on this shelf remains the big stuffed fish. Next to the living room is our bedroom, um, which we keep fairly simple. 
well, one of us likes to put stuff on his bedside table. One of us doesn't. Uh, one of us likes to sneak up under the covers. Okay, I swear that's a cat. Usually she plays with you when you do that. And we still have our um, little phone shelves for bedside tables, which is really handy. Those built-in cupboards are really nice, but they're kind of small. So we've also bought these big Pax closets from Ikea. The view from our bedroom into the garden. Uh, we did probably the last barbecue of the year the other day, and we haven't put it away yet, but now it's gonna be clean because it's raining. And next to the bedroom is the library. Um, I got these lights to do product photography of my pottery, um, but I put them up here to experiment with using them for a video. Uh, Pontus's piano, uh, which he put up there in the hope that maybe he would play more than if it's in his office. The secretary we don't use as much as we could. Um, right now there's a knitting machine sitting on top of it waiting for me to make friends with it. I can't quite get it to cooperate. And books, stuff, more stuff, pretty floor, crap. And next to that is just the upstairs closet. So then if we go down the stairs, we have two Millennium Falcons, because of course we do. And here is Pontus's office, which I will not show you. Down here we have a dresser for towels and stuff. A food and wine cupboard, or cellar, a cleaning cupboard, litter box, and the downstairs bathroom. So this was the main thing that we had to fix when we moved in. And I really love this place. So we have some storage, we have the sauna. A uh, sauna is obviously a huge luxury. Um, but when you marry to someone who's half Finnish, it is a requirement. There was a sauna here when we moved in, sort of, but it was in disrepair. It hadn't been used for 40 years, so the walls were torn down and we sort of had to start over. I love this bathtub. It has claw feet, but it's also uh, wide and tall enough that you can actually sit in it comfortably. All of you is wet and you can fit two people in it, which is great. And obviously I love my octopus shower curtain. Here is where I store bath bombs and random crap. And the sink and mirror. And then you come to my office, which is huge and I love it. Uh, but I also do a lot down here, so I have storage for a lot of craft stuff for some of my pottery uh, before it's shipped out. Um, here is packing materials for ceramics. This table gets used for podcasting, for sewing, for all sorts of stuff. This couch was in our old living room, but we bought something a little nicer that you saw upstairs. The Christmas lights, the ones with the stars on them are broken and I haven't taken them down yet. This is where I sit and do most of my work, unless I bring my computer upstairs. Here is a bunch of storage, I have paperwork and envelopes and tons and tons of notebooks and fountain pens, craft books, um, all sorts of stuff. My guitar, tote bags, all that great stuff. These bottom two shelves are where most of my yarn lives, so I've tried to sort it into different weights and sweater quantities and stuff. And like I said, we have pottery, microphone stands, fabric, electronics, all sorts of stuff. And then through here, is the laundry room, which isn't really interesting enough to show you, except for some murals that I painted uh, in there, just to make laundry a little bit more fun, and also 
my pottery studio, which I'll show you some other time. And that's my house, our house, the house. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, even though I didn't show you the inside of my fridge or say this is where the magic happens, except now, I, I said it now, but not before. And yeah, uh, subscribe, clicky, the things that you want to clicky, and be good to yourself. Take a nap, drink some water, and I'll see you later. Bye.